This is a short video on using Tracker. The Getting Started files give you most of the information that's contained in this video and are a good place to start. We'll get started by importing a video. This is a video I took of a pencil dropping using an iPhone 5S in slow-mo mode, giving me 120 frames per second. I can select which clip I'd like to analyze by moving the black arrows under the slider bar. In the clip settings, we can set the frame rate at 120 frames per second, and we can also see the specific frames that we chose using the black arrows under the slider bar. I'm going to move my coordinate system to the lower left hand corner of my video so that all of my tracked points will have positive values. We're going to add a point mass which will track one of the ends of the pencil. By holding shift control and clicking on a point I can set the template for the auto tracker to follow. By clicking search next the auto tracker will try to find a match for the template in the next frame. By clicking search the auto tracker will proceed through the frames until it comes to one where it can't find a match to the template. You can see that the auto tracker tracks the end of the pencil successfully through all the frames. Now we're going to add another point mass which will track the point of the pencil. Here Tracker has come across a frame where it can't easily match the template image. Your options are to accept the suggested point, which isn't very good in this case, or to manually select a point. With a little help from manual input, Tracker has completed tracking the point of the pencil. The numbers in the X and Y columns currently don't have real-world values because we haven't told Tracker how long our pencil is. To do this, we're going to add a calibration stick. Since I know my pencil is 16.5 centimeters long, I can change the number on the calibration stick to indicate that in meters. Finally, we want to get our data out in a form we can use. The easiest way to do this is to select the three columns in the data table and copy and paste them into Excel. And you can do this for each point mass. Those are the basics you need to get started with Tracker.